Hello friends, this is a special video with an important message for any Canadian who cares about preserving a free and independent YouTube. Prime Minister Trudeau's administration is planning to pass a piece of legislation known as Bill C-10 that will allow the Canadian government to impose strict new regulations over YouTube and other popular streaming websites like Netflix and Disney+. Plus. If passed, Bill C-10 likely means that Canadians who watch YouTube, like you, or make content for YouTube, like me, will soon experience a very different version of the site compared to the one used by non-Canadians. This could affect things like what videos show up in our subscription feed or explore tab, which videos succeed or fail, and which creators or channels get special privileges over others. You see, under present Canadian law, the Canadian federal government, acting through a media regulatory agency known as the CRTC, has the power to meddle with traditional media in Canada in all sorts of ways. The CRTC tells radio stations what sort of songs they have to play, when certain shows on television have to be aired, and even what cable channels you have to buy. CRTC rules are supposed to push audiences towards good, patriotic Canadian content and away from bad foreign content, or even Canadian content that's not quite Canadian enough. The government's rules for what is or isn't sufficiently Canadian are famously obtuse and rely on a preposterous point system that can be gamed in all sorts of ways. A movie set in Canada starring Canadian actors like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, for instance, was not considered sufficiently Canadian by the government, but a documentary about the murder of Gandhi was. Anyway, Bill C-10 would put YouTube under this system because apparently the government worries that Canadians are not watching enough good patriotic Canadian content on this site. We don't know exactly what kind of rules they would impose specifically, because the way laws generally work in Canada these days is that the parliament just passes some broad, open-ended bill giving an executive agency like the CRTC sweeping new powers, and then that agency just hammers out a bunch of new regulations after the law is passed. But based on the precedent from the way the government regulates TV and radio, what is probably most likely is that if this bill passes, YouTube will soon be legally forced to rig Canadians' home, explore, and subscription feeds in a way that will push good, patriotic Canadian YouTube creators and videos to the top, while burying foreigners or bad Canadians. On the creator side, I could also see YouTube requiring creators to click a bunch of yes or no questions every time they upload something in order to determine if their content is Canadian enough to be privileged by this new pro-patriotism algorithm. It would be sort of like the boxes you currently have to check to tell YouTube if your content contains any swears or violence or whatever. Lord only knows what sorts of questions you'd have to answer to determine how Canadian your content is. I could also imagine Canadians being forced to automatically subscribe to a few mandatory Canadian channels that they could never unsubscribe from like, say, the CBC. You might think I'm scaremongering, but like I said, this is already the sort of nonsense the Canadian government imposes on conventional media. And since Bill C-10 is so vague and grants such sweeping authority to the CRTC, I think it is appropriate to err on the side of maximum suspicion. I'm speaking out against this legislation, even though I think it is actually entirely possible I will benefit from it. I'm a Canadian who makes a lot of videos about Canadian-related topics, so my stuff would presumably get boosted by a new pro-Canadian algorithm, assuming the criteria of what counts as good Canadian content isn't too arbitrary. But here's the thing. I don't think it is the job of the government to tell any Canadian what they should or shouldn't be watching. Nor is it the role of the government to decide which creators are more deserving of success than others. One of the things I most love about YouTube is the degree it allows us to freely explore the world outside our own borders and be exposed to culture and content from all over the place. And I don't want some government committee in Ottawa trying trying to restrict that freedom in order to push their own narrow conception of what Canadians should be watching. So please, if you are Canadian, do what you can to make your voice heard and oppose Bill C-10. Make a fuss on social media, send messages of outrage to the Prime Minister and Heritage Minister. Do whatever it takes to let everyone know that you want the government to keep its hands off your YouTube experience.